and uh, I just decided to pack up and come back home uh, to see what I could potentially do, what I can potentially get into. I finished my uh, four-year contract with the United Nations in South Sudan back in October and uh, I just felt compelled to still stay on the continent. This has been a passion for me for the longest time where I just there's just something about this continent that I feel called to that I feel I need to be in so the journey that I'm currently on is to find a place to live currently I'm living in my cousin's place uh, but it's a bit of a you know um, tight place in that I'm sharing a room and a bed by the way <laughs> um, and of course I don't want to do that I don't want to continue to do that so I embarked on a journey to uh, find an apartment I have seen so many different apartments all over Abuja and it is mad expensive y'all it's expensive in, in, in Abuja as you can expect I mean it is the capital uh, but then of course you still don't want to just go and live anywhere uh, you have to think about safety, you have to think about, you know, transportation, because right now I do not have a vehicle. So I have to think about, you know, getting a place that's easy to get to, um, to be able to get in a taxi or um, call an Uber without uh, paying an arm and a pain, you know, an arm and a leg. Uh, so this is the journey. I've looked at so many different places. I've looked at two bedrooms. I've looked at one bedrooms. I've looked at studios. Uh, I have finally settled on a studio, which is in the uh, diplomatic area. So diplomatic area being, you know, where there are a lot of expatriates, a lot of embassies. Uh, Echo was is here. Uh, um, the criminal court is here. International criminal court is here. Um, Africa Union is here. Uh, embassies and consulates are around this area so you can imagine that the security is definitely a lot greater than any other part of town and literally I can walk out of the gate and I am by the not too far from the expressway I can pick up a taxi or I can call an uber and within five to ten minutes depending on traffic I am in the middle of town which is called the central area so this is the place I decided to go for. Um, of course, you know me, I like my space, but uh, this uh, studio is a temporary because the plan is to eventually uh, purchase property and, uh, and, and build. So I don't want to be too extravagant in getting a place that is just going to be temporary. Uh, so this is the compound. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see the compound. It's a, a series of four houses, and uh, within the four houses, they've broken them down into uh, apartments, two bedrooms, uh, one bedroom, and studios. I have taken the studio with a balcony. So this is the compound here. That's the main gate. This is one house. This is another house. This is another house. And this is the house that I have uh, decided to take. Uh, yes, it's raining, by the way. So yeah, you can see and hear uh, the rain. So we're going to walk into uh, the building where I have decided to take. Uh, it's on the second floor here and in Europe. It's called, the, so the first floor is called the ground floor. The second floor is actually called the first floor, so on and so forth. And then you, when you're going up, they actually, so I would say, oh, we're going to the second floor, but people will tell me, no, it's the first floor because the ground floor is the ground floor. So this is this space here. Um, this is not my area. This is kind of like the hallway when you walk up the stairs. This is uh, another apartment area that has two studios that could potentially uh, be turned into one uh, apartment. 
This is the one that I have selected. It's a studio apartment. The windows are big. Of course, being me, I have a preference for a much, much larger uh, window. Sorry, there's no light because when it rains, uh, they take the light. Um, this is the bathroom. This is apparently the style of bathrooms here in Nigeria and also in Uganda, by the way, because uh, I've lived in Uganda. Um, so where the shower, the toilet, the sink, all in one place, there's no demarcation. I'm sorry, guys, it's dark, uh, so it's hard to see. Um, so this is the bathroom, toilet. This is the kitchen, very quaint. Uh, the stove will go here um, and some drawers. I'm not a pack rat like I used to be, so it's not going to be difficult for me uh, fitting into the place. So I, I like it um, for what it is, for the temporary place to stay. Um, I think it's perfect. Oh, and by the way, sorry guys, let me show you the balcony. So this is the balcony. Oh, and that's the expressway that I told you about over there. You can see cars coming down off the ramp. This is a pretty big balcony. I can do a lot with this balcony. So it's a